everyone, Youth Pastor Jay here signing in for another Teen Talk series. Listen, you're a teen. I know you have a lot to say. I'm a youth pastor. Obviously, I have a lot to say. So teens, let's talk. So tonight for this quick discussion, this is what I have. But before we get into it, make sure you stop what you're doing. You like, share, subscribe, or follow, depending on whatever platform you're currently watching this on. Don't keep this to yourself. Use it to connect with other teens who need to hear from this. This is for everyone, middle and in high school. Let's get into it right now. So again, this is the question that I have. Um, this is the question that's on the topic for today. I've been thinking about it for a while. Why do bad things happen to good people? And have you, have you ever wondered that? Is that a good question? Why do bad things happen to good people? I mean, look at you. You got it going on, right? I mean, girl, you, you're exfoliating your face, making sure that you stay true to your face and your skin regimen. You got your skin all glowing now. Got your clothes together. I mean, you are killing it right now. So together your shoes and your outfit matches, okay? I mean, you got it going on. And yet and still, you didn't get asked to the prom. Maybe your thing is a little bit different. Maybe for you it's like, man, I am killing it. I did everything I could for the tryouts. I showed them everything I had and I killed it. Everybody said I'm a shoe in for the team. And they put me on the JV squad. The JV squad, I'm varsity material. And they put me on junior varsity. That's messed up. Why do bad things happen to good people? Here's the reality, and I had to sit with this for a while. The reality is this. Bad things happen to good people because we all have the gift of free will. And I'm bringing God into this for the sake of helping you to understand. God is somebody who is 100% always in control. But God is also a gentleman. That means that he is not going to override your free will. He wants you to choose him. He wants you to choose to do what is right because it's right for all the right reasons. But at the end of the day, Bad things happen to good people because at the end of the day, people have free will. And what people typically tend to do with that free will is the opposite of what, what we're called to do, which is to do unto others what we would have done to ourselves. Do you know what that means? Maybe you do. Just in case you don't, let me explain. When you abide by the, the command, by the by the standard that I'm going to do unto others as I would have done unto myself. It means I'm going to treat you like I would want to be treated. I'm going to love you like I would want to be loved. I'm going to do you like I would want to be done. And nothing, the reality is, is people really are not out here doing that. And so what happens? We end up finding people doing unto others what they wouldn't want done unto themselves. And then we're stuck in a moment of bad things happening to good people. Or the reverse, good things happening to bad people because you have people that are not living by the standard of doing unto others as they would have done unto themselves. And then you have on the other hand, people that are committed to living this life of I will do to others as I would have done unto myself. So that's why we constantly get caught in a, why do good things happen to bad people? And why do bad things happen to good people complex? How do you handle this? You have gotta keep in the back of your mind this. At the end of the day, the Bible says this, only what you do for Christ will last. Not only that, God is very clear. He is a God that sees all, knows all, and he has, like I said already, every single solitary thing in control. Teens, I want you to understand this. You cannot outdo God when it comes to handling business and getting people straight. 
whatever kind of revenge you think you can handle, whatever type of way you think you can get back at him or her or, you know, right the wrong or send some text messages or out these people or do whatever you need to do to get some type of piece of, whew, they did me wrong, but boy, did I get them back. You will end up making a bigger mess. I'm telling you what I know. You will end up making a bigger mess than before the whole thing started. Why? Because we're human and we're flawed. But God is absolutely perfect. So when he says in his word that he will avenge, vengeance is his. Vengeance, revenge. You know, that's that's what we want. We want to see vengeance or justice done when we get done wrong, when the bad happens to the good. We want to see some type of justice, right? Like you, you're not just gonna overlook me for the prom and nothing happens to you. You're not gonna just put me on the JV squad and nothing happens to you, no. I need some type of consequence, right? But if we take time and we get so caught up in this tit for tat thing, then we're not living out the standard that says we will do unto others as we would want to have done unto us. Trust me, people, there are so many more good people in this world than there are bad. Contrary to popular belief, there are more good intended people. Why? Because light always outdoes darkness. Always. The good will forever outweigh the bad. And Romans 28, Romans 8, 28 says this. Maybe you know. If you do, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. Beat me to the punch. Romans 28 says this, all things, not some things, but all things work together for the good of those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. So what does that mean? It means be encouraged. I'm big on that. Be encouraged, young person. Be encouraged, young people. Be encouraged whether you're in middle school or you're high school, whether you have caught yourself in a whirlwind, a love triangle, or you're stuck in all kinds of drama and you can't figure out how you got there. You're trying to do the right thing, but yet and still, Bad things are happening to you and you are a good person. Rest in the fact that all things work together for your good. Rest in the fact that vengeance is God, says him. And he will handle it perfectly. If you are committed to holding true to the standard of I will, no matter what anyone else says or does, I will do unto others as I would have done unto me. If I wouldn't want that to be said to me, I'm not gonna say it to them. If I wouldn't wanna be treated like that, I'm not gonna do it to them. And sometimes it's best to give people the gift of goodbye. If they can't value you, if you constantly find yourself in a situation where you are not being treated how you would treat them, sometimes it's time to give people the gift of goodbye. But that's a teen talk for a different day and a whole different topic. The point here is this. Hold true to the challenge. The challenge that I will, Pastor Jay, no matter what other people are doing, I will do what is right because it is right for all the right reasons and I will do unto others as I would have done unto me. If you're committed to make that challenge tonight, young people, drop it in the comment section. Come on, light it up right now and say, yes, I will. Yes, I will. This is Youth Pastor Jay signing off for yet another Teen Talk. I'll catch up with you next time. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, I love you and there's absolutely nothing you can do.